don't have a Stark Media mug here at home, but I'm a little bit of a Harry Potter nerd. So I do have my HP mug. So um, I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. We finally got some beautiful weather, which is exciting. Um, and today I am going to give seven tips on working remotely. Now I know everybody's been working remotely for um, some time now, you know, we're on week whatever of quarantine. Um, but I have found even with myself and the people that are in my house um, that sometimes we forget about these things that we should be doing um, in order to be productive um, at home, you know, while we're working, social distancing and all that fun stuff. So just thought I'd throw a little reminder out there, uh, take a little break from the tech stuff. Um, and good morning, Fred. Um, so yeah, take a little bit of a break from the tech stuff and just go over some ways to be productive at home. Um, and we've also found, you know, a bunch of, uh, tips and tricks that work with our, um, with our teams. We do need some Texas weather up here, Fred. So good morning, Lavender the Dane, Patricia Hygermere, um, Carol Galanti, photography, quarter construction. Good morning, guys. Hope you all have your really fun mugs. If you have a fun mug, take a picture of it and tag it I want, or uh, put it in the comments. I want to see what you guys have. Okay, so seven tips on working um, remotely. The first one, which is probably the most important, is have a routine and stick to it. Um, you know, we all have our normal routines that if we were going into the office, um, that's what we would do. So obviously going into the office is a little different, um, but having that routine and kind of adjusting it to staying home, um, you know, set your alarm, get up at the same time that you would normally get up, uh, take a shower, <laughs> which I love the memes going around um, about that. So sticking to your normal routine, you know, whether it's making breakfast at a certain time or having a certain breakfast. Um, I know I usually have uh, smoothies when I go into work. I usually don't eat like a hard breakfast. Um, so I've been making my smoothies at home. Um, so having your routine and adjusting it to quarantine life um, is super, super important. Uh, the follow-up to that is get dressed. Do not work in your pajamas. <laughs> uh, I know it seems tempting at times, uh, but it's just something that about like your mental state when you get up and you get dressed. Um, I even know that when I'm not feeling well sometimes, if I you know feel cold coming on, I just want to work in my pajamas. Um, it's, I just, if I put clothes on, you feel better about yourself. So one, making sure that you stick to your routine, having your cups of coffee in the morning. Um, and the second one is make sure that you're getting dressed. Um, the third one is have a means of communication with your team. So obviously, um, you know, you can't work together and especially for companies who thrive off of Christina Rose. Good morning. Um, especially people who thrive off of, um, you know, having that workspace, bouncing ideas off of each other. Um, I know even in our office, sometimes we'll go in the back and we'll all sit around um, our big conference table and we'll kind of just like pitch ideas back and forth, um, you know, do an overview of what's going on. So make sure that you have a means of communication with your team um, and something that's easy to navigate. Uh, Slack is super great. Um, so and and free <laughs> and you can put it on your phone or on your computer um but just having a way that you're staying organized within your company and making sure that everyone is aware of what you're doing um i know especially for us when we're onboarding new clients during this time um it's very easy for th people to say like oh i thought you were doing that i thought you were sending that um so just having kind of a checklist and you can even do it on like a google doc if you needed to um but just having a means of getting yourself organized um, within your company, uh, but having an, an open communication. So having a way of <clears throat> staying um, open with your communication is super huge. Uh, and I kind of just said it, but the fifth one is staying organized. Um, and that includes yourself as well as your team. Um, so I know a lot of people, uh, 
kind of feel a little frazzled with what's going on right now. Um, I know things are definitely very different for everybody, but having your checklist, like, okay, so usually when I go in, the first thing I do is check my emails. Um, and then I ha I write myself a to-do list for the day and a to-do list for the week. Um, so things like that will help you stay organized. So this way you will be able to make sure that you're getting everything done, meeting those deadlines um, and, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so making sure that you're staying organized within yourself and then also within your team, um, making sure that you're clearly communicating to your team members um, what their assignments are, checking in on them. I know nobody likes to be micromanaged, um, but I think usually I would, let's say, walk into the back and say, like, hey, Michelle, you know, what are you working on or how's this coming along? And it's not so much micromanaging, it's just making sure that everything is getting done. Um, also make sure that you have your workspace. And I know it's a little difficult, especially when, um, you know, parents who have kids at home or myself and my roommates, uh, you know, we're all working from home. So finding your individual workspace. So when you're not impeding on each other, but there's also not like an immense amount of distraction when you're trying to get your work done. Um, also make sure that you are taking breaks. Oh, sorry. Instagram got paused. Um, so make sure that you are taking breaks. Um, now this is something that uh, I have found that I kind of struggle with and especially some of the other people in my house and the people I've talked to, you get kind of frustrated that you're like, oh, why, why am I so distracted? But also keep in mind, good morning, Graham. Um, keep in mind that throughout your day, throughout your work day, whether you're in an office or out on a job, there are different points of your day where you get to take breaks um, more than just lunch. You know, maybe you stop and you start chatting with a coworker. Um, you know, like I said, I'll get up, I'll go grab a cup of coffee and talk to Michelle for a little bit. Um, so make sure that you're giving yourself those times throughout the day to kind of, you know, go for a walk around the block or just take, you know, if it's a nice day like today, go outside, take a breath. Um, but you're giving yourself time to kind of decompress throughout the day and you will be way more productive. Um, also make sure that you are scheduling check-ins with your team as a whole. So everybody knows what's going on, who's doing what, making sure that everything is assigned and things are getting done and there's an accountability, but also having one-on-one -on -one check ins. Um, like I said, having that, you know, hey, what are you up to? What are you working on this week? And then maybe at the end of the week, like, all right, so how far did you get along on XYZ? Um, so those are my seven tips. So I'll go through them real quick. Uh, one is to stick to your routine, but just adjust it for being home. Two, get dressed, get out of those pajamas. Um, three, have a means of communication with your team, be it Slack or, you know, there's a couple workspace platforms that you can pay for. So make sure that there's a place uh, that's not a very long email chain that you can um, communicate with the other people that you work with. Uh, make sure that you are staying organized uh, within yourself and your team, that you write yourself those to-do lists for the day, for the week, so you know everything that needs to get done and making sure that it gets done. Um, have your own workspace. So make sure that you're not getting distracted by what's going on around you um, and that you have like a nice place to work uh, that maybe doesn't have you know kids yelling or other people working. Uh, make sure that you're taking breaks. Uh, breaks are huge for your mental space. Get up, move around, move your body. Um, and finally, uh, schedule team and individual check-ins. So this way you know that everybody is getting done what they need to get done and you are staying um, on target. All right, guys, I hope you all have a lovely day. I want to see your mugs. Show me your mugs. I love my hair bottom mug. Um, and later today, uh, keep an eye out because I am going to put a video out. We are going to do a giveaway uh, for some one free, 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 uh, free one-on-one -on -one training um, with myself to talk about how you can reconstruct your business and how to market it during this time. So uh, yeah, hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And thanks for tuning in to Coffee Talk Tuesday. Oh, it won't let you post a pic. Not in the comments, Fred.
should be able to do it in the comments. If not, post your picture and tag us because I love fun mugs, especially if they're Harry Potter version. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much and have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.